guys, Mr. Kate here. I am doing a dorm room decor takeover because I am here with Alicia and she's moving into college and we have literally no joke 45 minutes to pull her dorm room together and make it look decorated and awesome. So I'm here with my team and I'm here with a bunch of DIY projects that I've done already and some new ones and some decorating stuff and we're just gonna try to pull it together and hopefully you guys are gonna get some great tips. Come on, Alicia. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Oh, hi. I'll drop by for a while. Mr. Kate. I'll help you find your style. Mr. Kate. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! Today I'm moving into college. I'm really excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Alicia, this is really ugly. Yeah. <laughs> this is like what everybody confronts when they move into a dorm. It's really ugly furniture, basic furniture, and then totally blank walls. We have all these rules that we're not allowed to punch holes in walls, but we're gonna work around it. We have no time, so I need to stop okay. laughing. So Let's go I need to work. Leave. I'm so excited to be here. We are doing a dorm room takeover. I love dorm room design because it's really challenging. It's a small space, and you gotta fit a lot of stuff in there, and you gotta create color without being able to paint. I went back to school shopping, and I wasn't really that impressed with like the bedware and everything, so I want something kind of casual, more laid back, not really glittery, or like anthropology is more my style. How do I open this? Right now we are hanging the curtains because the blinds are really drab and not so cute, so instead we're using these beautiful ombre curtains that I got at Target, twist it, and we're doing this thing with a shower curtain rod because the tension rod just fits right into the window. Oh yes, you got it off! Yeah, because that is so ugly. I'd rather put our own backing. We are implementing a lot of DIY design stuff. We have the wonderful faux flower lamps, which I did before. We have light, we have light. Kind of that anthropology vibe that Alicia really wanted. And I also did some flower artwork. So it's just a frame with some glued flowers and these are super lightweight frames. They're actually plastic, so they will be easy to hang on the wall using our sticky strips and no nails. So these are really cute. These are just paper feathers cut out of fun colored paper and then strung onto thread. So it's super lightweight. And we are hanging the feather garlands from a tension rod, so pretty. which you can get at Target, Kmart, Home Improvement Store. And again, no nails will keep the walls safe. More color in the paint chips. We are using those free paint chips from the hardware store and then putting the little tacky backing on them and then up on the wall and you're creating kind of like a rainbow effect. Right now it's kind of madness in there. Um, Kate only has 45 minutes, but she's been doing a good job so far. I like the colors, but I'm not sure how she's gonna pull it off. I don't really know what the end result is gonna look like. Look how cute Alicia's is you. And you're mm -hmm. me and my little sister. Dorm rooms, you wanna have family photos around. So I love this because when you're in your dorm room, you wanna look at pictures of your family. So I'm using a piece of twine that I glued little dried rosebuds on and then just strung on the wall with clothespins to hold up Alicia's pictures. And it's personal and girly and fun. Other tips to remember are using area rugs because that just adds more color and life on the floor. I love to put a little faux sheepskin over the chair to make it cozy. Oh, okay, that was crazy. I sent Alicia away for the last 10 minutes because I wanted to put all the finishing touches in here so that she would at least have some surprise. I wanna bring her in. Alicia! There you are! Hi. Oh my gosh. Wait. I love it. I can't believe you did this in 45 minutes. <laughs> it's so cute. Isn't it my cute? Bed is awesome. Do you love it? Yeah. This is your Her bed. Is like and then hopefully color. your roommate will like of course their she'll bed. Like okay. It. I love that garland with the rosebud. I love how you incorporated like the childhood stuff. And then I love this too with the, the desk. So we have like this is bringing in height. We have the curtains that are on that yeah. shower curtain rod, right? So again, no nails. And then your textbooks covered in the wrapping paper. I think that's, that's cute. such a cute touch. The and the lamp from yeah. the thrift store, flowers. I love this feather garland, so that's yeah. another. So I love what Kate came up with. She really got my personal style in there and I'm really excited to live and like study and eat and hang out in there. Alicia loves it. We succeeded 45 minutes. I can't believe we did it. High five. Thanks Kate. Get to bed. Okay. Or whatever, I don't know. What do you do in college? And she better get straight A's. Oh, I'm saying. So you can definitely DIY your dorm room design because why not? Mr. Kate! Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you click on these other fun videos. They're fun. And also check me out on MrKate.com. Oh, and social networks. Facebook.com, Facebook.com, Instagram.com, Facebook.com, 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 Facebook.com,